This time on Question Lithium, if you could create any Wii U game of your choice, what would it be? Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting, bringing you another entry into the Question Lithium series. This week's question comes from Retro Raven NZ. He asks, if you worked for Nintendo and could create any game for Wii U, what would it be? Thank you so much for your question, Retro Raven and Zed. This is a topic that really gets my brain going. I actually really like thinking about this. If I could create a game for Nintendo Wii U, what would it be? For some of the games, I'm going to actually talk, probably talk about my three concepts, because I do have a few. I'm going to keep in mind the gamepad for a few of them, but not always. Now, my number one game is something that a lot of you might agree with, you might not, but I do think if they were serious about selling the Wii U and they really wanted to kick it off with a good start and maybe save the console at some point, not like it needs saving, but it kind of does, sales aren't great, I would have released a Pokemon game, a huge full-fledged Pokemon game on the Wii U. It can be created by Game Freak, it can be created by some other company in the style of Game Freak's games on the handheld consoles, but I think that pretty much would sell so many consoles. I also know that the gamepad is perfect for that. Just like on the 3DS when you're battling, or on the 2DS, or on the DS for that matter, when you battle, you can choose the touch screen and choose your actions. If the game is online, because the Wii U has online functionality, you can battle other people and choose and swap out your Pokemon on the gamepad, watching all the fights actually up on the big screen. That would be absolutely incredible. That pretty much writes itself, I think. And what I'm looking for is something like Pokemon X and Pokemon Y in terms of story, or the original games as well, obviously. I'm not really looking for something like the Pokemon Stadium games. So there's Pokemon Stadium, of course, there's Pokemon Stadium 2. There was also, a eventually, Pokemon Coliseum, and then Pokemon Battle Revolution. I'm not looking for that kind of game, or even, really, Pokemon XD Gale Darkness, which was a micro RPG, kind of, was a decent game. I'm looking for a full-fledged game, just like Pokemon X and Y, out on the Wii you realized 3D HD graphics of all the Pokemon fighting with a storyline where you leave your house and you go out on an adventure to try and capture a lot of Pokemon. You can have the characters be male or female, obviously. So Ash Ketchum or whoever could be just Red could be your protagonist or you can name it yourself and have avatars change up what they're wearing. It doesn't really matter. And have some new Pokemon in it as well. That would have been Unreal Awesome. You're not going to really alienate your handheld audience, I don't think, from creating a Pokemon game on the Wii U. I just think it is time. It's been so long. I know there's Pokemon Tournament coming up, but that's not at all what I'm after. I would really look forward to a Pokemon game on the Wii U if it was done right, especially with the gamepad. There's so much untapped potential there for a Pokemon game, and it's been too long. It's time to bring it over to a home console, in my opinion, anyways. So next up... A game that I think a lot of people would be waiting for for a long time, and it's not really something that I really thought would happen, actually. So my next game that I'd like to talk about is a Paper Mario game on the Wii U. This does not exist. It's not like this exists already. It doesn't exist whatsoever. Again, I think there's a lot of untapped potential with the gamepad. So recently, there's been a game announced that combines Paper Mario and the Mario & Luigi series, and it's called Paper Jam, and you play with both of them on the 3DS. I'm really excited to play that game actually on the 3DS, but I wish it was out on the Wii U. And the Wii U to me is in desperate need of a Paper Mario game. I wasn't in love with the previous Paper Mario games recently. There was of course the one on the Wii, Super Paper Mario, wasn't one of my favorites. But this original one is one of my favorite games ever, as is the Thousand Year Door on GameCube. Exceptionally well done games that I really enjoy playing. So the reason why I think it should be on Wii U is, number one, the game doesn't exist yet. And number two, when you use the gamepad, I think it would be excellent to use with all of your partners and swapping them out and everything like that. So you could actually use some touchscreen functionality with your partners when they're doing certain actions. And every single battle, whenever you're in the battle, obviously you could also use the buttons to try and time some things. But you could do some different things with the battle system of like drawing around the enemy eight times or something like that to get the gamepad more involved while you're playing. You could also have it multiplayer on the big screen. You could have someone else control maybe your second player every once in a while, which is really cool. And the other added feature that I'm not sure everyone would like, but I really think Paper Mario would be a great candidate for Amiibo support and use it in an intelligent way. So if you use Amiibo in Paper Mario, if you've played the game before, you might come to a bridge and you can't really cross it. So you need to actually swap out your character, and you need to put in a character who maybe can fly across it like Paracarry from the original game that's actually holding him right there on the box art. You could scan in one of these amiibo, and then it would actually have that character swap out in your party, and then you could use that action on screen. And it wouldn't be that hard to do so, and it would actually be a good reason to get amiibo involved in a game, and it's almost like they're required. 
So if you don't want to do that, you could actually maybe just have the Amiibo cards sold with the game, and then you could swap it out. Or you could turn the functionality off if you want, or you could actually buy the full-fledged Amiibo of the Paper Mario characters. They could just be cards, because it is Paper Mario, or they could be realized 3D images or 3D actual Amiibo. It's your choice, but I think there's untapped potential there. Paper Mario, I really wish it came out on the Wii U at some point. I really hope it comes in the future. You could use great GameCube support or GamePad support, and you could also use Amiibo functionality. It would be really, really cool. Now, the last game I would like to talk about is another Mario game that doesn't exist that I wish does. And I know there's a few games out on the Wii U already for Mario. I know there's New Super Mario Bros. U. There's also Super Mario 3D World. And New Super Mario Bros. U is a really fun game. It's great for multiplayer, for 2D action. Super Mario 3D World, another really good game, but it feels way too linear for me. It feels very much, here's point A, just get to point B, get to the end, get to the flagpole, that's it. I'm really looking for an open world Mario game to come back. I'm looking for something like Super Mario 64. I think that game was absolutely tremendous, mostly because you had free range to do whatever you want in the game when you're dropped into an open world environment. Here you go, you're in a certain level, do whatever you want in it, and that's pretty awesome. That's a fantastic idea. This kind of idea really hasn't been realized since Super Mario Sunshine with those big worlds, because to me, I know Galaxy and Galaxy 2 had some really big worlds in them, but most of those were pretty linear as well, and I know some of them were huge, but it wasn't really you can go and do whatever you want and get six different stars or shines, for example, or 11 in Super Mario Sunshine, I believe, in each world. In some cases, you can get a few different stars, but it feels too linear to me. So what I would call this new game on the Wii U, Super Mario Universe. It sells itself, and the name sells itself because it's the Wii U. It goes perfectly with the idea of Mario Galaxy, Mario Galaxy 2. Super Mario Universe, kind of not the third game in a trilogy, but another game coming out in a Mario Universe, which is a great idea. Now, in that game, Mario Universe, I would love for them to have some sort of a sense of their accomplishments in the past. So in Mario Universe, what I would be looking for is some of the upgrades that you get in previous Mario games. So maybe something as simple as the Fire Flower from Mario 1 would be in there. Maybe from Mario 3, you have the Tanuki suit. Maybe from New Super Mario Bros. Wii, you have the Propeller suit and things like that. Maybe you even include bosses from the various games throughout history, and maybe some new ones as well. But I'm looking for big open worlds in a Mario game. I think that would be really awesome in Mario Universe. You could bring back Peach's Castle and jump into paintings to actually go into them. You could make it Mario and Luigi's Mansion, and you're actually in that, or maybe you're in space like Mario Galaxy or Mario Galaxy 2. Something like that idea where you go through the entire universe of Mario, dating back throughout history would be so awesome. And it would be even more awesome if in that game they did have some more throwback levels to the previous games in the series. That would be really awesome as well, but I'm looking for a brand new Mario game with giant open worlds. That's my main desire out on new consoles for Wii U. Games feel too linear, they're holding your hand too much. I want to get creative, I want to have some fun and get lost in some Mushroom Kingdom levels. That would be awesome to me. So my three games that I would make, number one, Open World Pokemon on the Wii U, number two, a Paper Mario game, and number three, Super Mario Universe. Thank you so much for your question. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions for future Question Lithium episodes, be sure to ask as a comment below the video, tweet me on Twitter, or send me a Facebook message. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to fill that like bucket, follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video, and remember, as always, Go collect them all and keep smiling while gaming.